Okay, so this talks is a quick example of a, of an integration based on a formula we've seen. We'll just have to see how that formula gets applied. Okay, so we have to do this integration. Okay, and I want to use this formula here. Is this formula here? Hmm? Yes. One hundred. Okay, good. Yeah, so this matches the criteria here. You have distinct values alpha 1, alpha 2, 2, alpha n. You have the numerator polynomial has smaller degree than 3, which is n here. And so we can try to use this formula. If we just blindly try to use the formula, what, what do we get for the antiderivative? Well, we have to calculate it. Yeah, let's calculate it. Yeah. So what's the first term? The term for alpha. So alpha 1 is 1, alpha 2 is 2, and alpha 3 is 3. And what is Rx? Hmm? 1. No, Rx. X squared. X squared. Okay, good. So let's, let's, let's just do this. So what's the first thing in the summation? The thing for, for the factor alpha 1. So what do we get? 1 over one square over hmm? one minus two times one minus three times ln of x, x minus one okay plus, plus two squared over two minus one times two minus three times ln x minus two plus 3 squared over 3 minus 1 times 3 minus 2 times ln x minus 3. That's C. Okay, and what does this become? Simplify this. A become 2 1 half mm -hmm. ln minus 4. Plus 9 over 4 over 2. 9 over 2. And then x minus 3. Absolutely. Let's see. Okay. That's great. We, we just use the formula blindly. Now, if you actually had to do it uh, sort of using partial fractions, you would set this thing equal to c1 over x minus 1 plus c2 over x minus 2 plus c3 over x minus 3 mm -hmm. and uh, then after you solve that you would actually get c1 as this number c2 as this number and c3 as as this number mm -hmm. okay and you can actually uh, practice that and see that you that works out that way okay let's just check so this is one over Four over one and nine over two. Okay, looks good. Great. 